fire signs leo aries and sagittarius welcome to my channel my name is chelsea thank you so much for liking and subscribing i really appreciate your love and support in this reading we are going to find out who's obsessively thinking about you right now and why today is the 28th of november 2022 time 1957 um bali indonesian time <laughs> all right let's get our reading started Spirits and angels, please show me for fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Who is obsessively thinking about fire signs right now and why? take it. The lovers at the bottom of the deck. So I've got the hermit here. This person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus with the nine of pentacles. Could also be somebody like you are, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Could be a Libra, could be a Cancer, Aquarius, Gemini, Camini sign, okay. Definitely there's one person here, five signs, six of cups. This person misses you. This person has been reminiscing about the good times both of you have shared with each other. Justice here is in reverse. This can, justice in reverse can indicate either both of you were in a relationship before or would have been married before but separated right now or that this person could be a divorcee, somebody who has been married before in the past. We've got the six of wands in reverse. Hmm. I feel like maybe... This is somebody, I think this person could be obsessively thinking about you right now because you're not really paying attention to them. It could mean that. Or that, you know, the hermit here, if you look at the lamp, it's shining towards six of ones and one So this person could be thinking or wondering if you're interested in them, if you want them, okay? Because this is in one first. And the hermit is in the dark, searching for some answers. And we've got the king of wands. Ace of Wands in reverse, and this is definitely you, right? Doesn't matter, King or Queen is not gender specific. And with the, <laughs> the Ace of Wands in reverse here also, it makes me kind of feel like this person could be obsessively thinking about you right now because they wonder if you like them, they wonder if you're interested in them. Um, because Wands indicates passion, desire, but they're in reverse, and again, the Hermit is looking for an answer in the dark or kind of lost yeah and we've got the three of wands here three of wands can indicate distance maybe this person is at a distance from you or or that the three of wands also can indicate this person longing for you like waiting for you longing for you magician here so more first so this is somebody who doesn't actually because if you look at the hermit and the magician in my first Magician manifests, right? This person may not be showing you like they're really interested, if that makes sense to you. Because the hermit is also in isolation. So this person may be isolating themselves from you or isolating their thoughts and their feelings from you. And the magician in reverse can also again indicate they're not actively pursuing you or that they could be wondering if you would pursue them, okay? We've got the chariot, chariot again. This is a transportation, right? And we've got two sphinxes here. Feels like this person, you know, again, there are two cards that indicates distance. Doesn't mean that, okay? Um, but for some of you, this person could be at a distance right now, could be traveling right now. Um, but look at the Queen of Swords here in reverse. So this, when the swords are in reverse, that means they're not telling the truth or that they're not expressing your thoughts. 
So this is somebody who doesn't actually, I feel, really want you to know that they're thinking about you. The Wheel of Fortune here is in reverse, so there's this stuck energy. And Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Kennedy K, maybe this is somebody again. For some of you, maybe this is someone you have been in a relationship with or lived in the same house before or was married bef to this person before. But if it's not that... Self goes in reverse candy cake. Also, for some of you, the chariot, you know, the chariot and the ten of pentacles in reverse, something about someone moving forward um, because they can't see a future. Because when the pentacles are in reverse, that means it hasn't materialized yet or it doesn't, it hasn't become a reality or it cannot become a reality. It could be that, okay? And we've got the lovers. This indicates a choice. But the lovers, can again, maybe this person does have feelings for you or that you've been, at least at one point in time, being intimate with this person. Um, or could have been in a relationship with this person in the past. So I'm going to pull out a few of these oracles here. Sorry, fire signs. I'm still kind of sick. I've been coughing a lot. So... I regret lying to you. Perhaps this person has lied to you in the past about something, okay? I want you, so this person really wants you. I know I messed up everything, so they may have done something, said something that they feel... I feel like they're owning up to something here, okay? This person may have, again, done something wrong or, or lied to you. Um, I hope that you can forgive me one day. Maybe this person feels bad, feels guilty about something. One second. <coughs> Sorry. Um, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So for sure, this person thinks about you a lot. Um, losing sleep. I will wait for a sign from you. So again, fire signs. Remember um, the magician here in my first. This person is not really taking any, any actions towards you. All they're doing is basically just thinking about you or waiting for you to take actions with them. Because look, we've got, I will wait for a sign from you. So they could be waiting for, to hear from you or something. It could be anything. Um, hmm. I'm not available. So this could be someone who is either emotionally unavailable or that they're not ready for a relationship. Um... Or it could be you, okay? Again, it could go vice versa. Let's see more. I don't react when people mention you. I know that I crossed the line with you. Just being near you is intoxicating, okay? So, um, uh, I think of uh, fire signs. This is somebody for sure with the lovers here that you've been intimate with, okay? Um, they could be, again, reminiscing about the past, reminiscing about the interactions that both of you had with each other. Um, again, it could be physical intimacy, it could be interaction, it could be any sorts of good memories here with the Six of Cups. It's good that the Six of Cups is in an upright position, so basically they are good memories. Um, and maybe this person has done something wrong or lied to you or didn't tell you the truth about something. And... Um, they may be regretting it right now, so they could be obsessively thinking about that. And the hermit here can indicate them, you know, just uh, ruminating over what's going on right now between the two of you. They could be reflecting, could be searching for answers. And I don't react when people mention you. This card also for me is an indication of this person really doesn't want anybody to know how they feel about you or maybe they don't want you to know how they feel about you or that maybe this is somebody that you don't want them to know that you don't want people to know that you have uh, feelings for them or it's like a very neutral energy here but see the hermit again the magician in my verse it feels like this person is not actively pursuing you or you may not be actively pursuing this person at this moment 
um, because it could be both of you, or it could be one of you. I'm not available, meaning either someone is emotionally unavailable or unavailable, not ready for a relationship. Yeah, this person definitely thinks a lot about you and they really, really want you with the I want you card. They think something is messed up between your connection with each other. And yeah, I hope that you can forgive me one day, perhaps something that they've done or something that I've said in the past. All right, fire signs. Sorry, I'm trying to catch my breath because I'm not 100% well. But anyway, take care. Um, if you resonated in some way, shape or form, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. And as usual, I'm going to leave you with a few playlists on the screen right now. And these playlists are still new. Uh, I post them every single day or almost every single day. Um, so it's still relevant. It's still valid. Okay. I, I am open for personal readings. If you guys would like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, fire signs. Bye.